Yeah. So the practice tonight, I wanted to share a little bit about why nearly every single time that I'm teaching this, I do this similar systematic rotation of attention through the body. And that also is a practice that has been around for a very long time, typically in the yoga traditions paired with sort of mantra or other things, but it's where you are kind of placing attention and rotating attention through the body. And um, the reason that we begin in the jaw and end in the feet is this is the version that I learned of, of yoga nidra. And then typically go through the left side and the right side. And sometimes I will do opposite sides and then both simultaneously, if you notice, even with the eyes, the ears, limbs, that kind of thing. And the reason for the rep repetition is, you know, it's our nervous systems like to know what to expect. And so part of that is just doing the exact same thing every time uh, in terms of order of the body scan. It doesn't have to happen the same every time, but that's the reason. And also, you know, when you're going into these subtle sort of in-between states and there's a sense of, you know, you know where you're going next instead of okay, now I'm going to say sense your big toe. It's like, wait a minute, we haven't done that before. I thought we were sensing our right ear or something. And, um, you know, it also from the, from Swami Satyananda, who was one of the people that really put this together, he showed that, you know, in the motor homunculus in the brain, and I don't know very much uh, about what that means, if that's how mapped that is to science, but he basically says that, you know, we're rotating attention through the body in such a way so that, you know, we begin to kind of expect what's coming next and, and it kind of makes sense to our, to our inner experience and, um, calms the nervous system. I find that doing the exact same rotation of attention through the body every time is actually very calming. And when you map that along with breathing, something happens because, if I would just say, which in some yoga nidra practices, certainly you would just say, okay, since your left shoulder, left elbow, left wrist, left, mm, 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 and you just keep going, right? Um, but if you say, take an inhalation, feel your left shoulder, and then exhale all the way down to the palm of your left hand, you, I'm asking you to do kind of two things at the same time. And so your attention and energy is going, oh, okay, left arm, and then all the way down to the palm of the left hand. And it's just harder to, to focus on other things such as your thinking mind and uh, the future and the past and that sort of thing. But if I give you one exercise, like just breathe in and out, you know, you could breathe in and out while you're thinking about like what happened today during that conversation. <laughs> and, um, and so that's why those are paired together in this practice. And that's why I do that um, more often than not is it's very helpful for me. And um, in my teaching over the years, I've just noticed that it seems to be a generally useful way. So when you hear me guiding through the body and then mapping that to the breath, there's, there's a reason for that. And as we go through the practice today, if you can just let yourself, um, so you're hearing the guidance, you're drawing attention. If, if we're doing the body scan, you're drawing attention to that particular body part when I name it, or you're asleep. <laughs> and then that's fine too, because subliminally you're doing all this too. Um, but can you feel yourself sort of allowing the guidance to guide you through the yoga nidra so that in a way you're relaxing the doer even more? And yes, you're involved, but you're kind of being guided through the practice as you allow your attention to move from place to place. If that makes sense, it's kind of like a, you're being engaged in the practice, but you're really resting back into this quality of awareness that's aware of your experience as you're doing the practice. So if we can focus on that tonight, that would be wonderful. Any questions before we get into it? I think we'll just do kind of a comprehensive non-sleep deep rest yoga nidra practice here. Okay, if no questions, then 
feel free to um, start getting comfortable and you can um, turn off your videos and, and um, afterwards when we finish, we'll have time for some questions and reflections. So I know many of us are in a place where it's quite warm and there's likely no air conditioning. <laughs> so um, we'll be with that as well. That's definitely true for me. Okay. So begin to settle in and make yourself comfortable. The goal is that you would be lying down and having a bolster underneath your knees, or you can have your feet elevated. You can have your arms to your sides with your palms up or your palms down. Or if you'd like, you can place one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly whatever is most comfortable for you. Have your head a little bit elevated if possible. And then do that thing where you make yourself 5% more comfortable. So shoulder blades down your spine, adjusting your position. Letting yourself descend into this practice. Getting kind of into a receptive mode. So you're meditating and holding an intention for the practice and also really relaxing back into into uh, receiving the practice it's part of the magic of the yoga nidra so as you settle in perhaps allowing your eyes to close And begin by simply noting the breath, the flow of the breath in and the flow of the breath out. You feel as if it's your whole body is spacious and open. The body's breathing in and out. So belly rising and falling, chest rising and falling, the natural rhythmic flow of the breath. Just allowing everything from your day, all that came before now to begin to fade into the background. Leaning into this moment of rest, of rejuvenation, of inquiry. Notice how it feels not to control the breath as it comes in and out. Just simply noticing, feeling, riding the wave of the breath. Beginning with an intention. Can you name inwardly an intention for this practice? It might be to get deep rest. It might be to fall asleep or to just follow along with the guidance and see what happens. It might be to meet some inner moment you've had or an emotion or a situation, whatever it is, name this intention inwardly. 
with a quality of kindness to yourself as this is why you're here this is what drew you to this moment We'll actually start there with a little bit more of that self-compassion or this moment of just allowing yourself to be just exactly as you are right now. So you may tune in to the heart. If you can sense that openness and kindness toward yourself coming from your own heart, just full allowance to be just as you are right now. We'll begin by opening the senses. This is as if all of your senses are open simultaneously, starting with taste, smell, touch. So that could be the weight of the body on the surface that supports you or the touch of air on your skin. Sound, can you... Just feel your whole body as a receptor to sound, not just your ears, but your whole body receiving sound. Sounds in the room, the sound of my voice. And then sight, even if your eyelids are closed, can you notice any play of colors or flashes of light or shadow across the eyelids. So the sense of sight, sound, touch, taste, smell. Just operating naturally, openly. Letting go of any of grasping, grasping to see behind the eyes or grasping to hear with the ears. And sense into the whole backside of your body as a reminder into this feeling yourself as a receptivity. Tuning back into the flow of the breath in, the flow of the breath out. And begin to gently extend the exhalation. So start in this process of meditation from a place of wholeness. Can you sense any kind of inner feeling of, it could be a word like safety or well-being or wholeness that's here? that's already here that you can tune into. So as you breathe in and out, find a word that resonates for you. It might be something like peace or ease or okayness. Spacious, whatever it is, something that can clue you into this felt sense of being whole. Spacious and open. 
and then follow your breath in and out, extending each exhalation just a little bit as you rest in this sense of ease. If that's not present, it's okay. It's just an invitation to explore the possibility of that. We'll begin with this body scan. So bringing attention to your jaw, we'll start in the jaw and end in the feet. And as I name a body part, simply bring your energy and attention to that part. You may not feel anything. Um, that's okay. I'm just going to rotate attention with the breath through the body. So sensing your jaw, you may even kind of move your jaw around a little bit for a minute and see where you're holding tension and then allow the jaw to become still and see if you can sense any holding or tension from the day, from talking, from thinking. If you can, can you very gently sort of dive into the center of that tension or that holding in your jaw. As you dive into the center of it, it may open out into feel a little bit more spacious or something shifts. So we're just making an inquiry with that felt sense of the body, no agenda here. Just inquiring with what's here. A sense of kindness. You may feel just kind of small muscles begin to relax, release, feeling your cheeks, your ears. So since your left ear, when I say left ear, you may have the image of your ear. And then let go of the image and feel the felt sense of the left ear. You may feel spaciousness or a numbness. You could feel like a buzzing feeling, whatever's here, just noticing what it is and allowing it to be here. And same with the right ear, bring attention to the right ear. Their image may come and then drop the image and just feel right ear the sensation in the right ear. Now let's sense both ears simultaneously. So the mind can't easily be on two objects at once. So let go of thinking and just sense both ears. Maybe sensing even down into your neck, any tension you're holding. Feeling the flow of the breath in and out of the nose or the mouth. Now sense the eyes, bring attention to your left eye. There might be some holding around your left eye just from looking at screens or whatever it is that you looked at today. Can you just sort of allow the left eye to relax and release any tension behind it, around it. Do same with the right eye now. Bring attention to sensation around and behind your right eye. So relaxing, releasing, letting go any unnecessary holding. And then both eyes at the same time. It's kind of inner release behind both eyes.
Take an inhalation, sense behind both eyes, and then exhale, allow all of your attention to flow through the midline of your head to the back of your head and then down to the back of your neck. So breathing in and out, sensing your neck, any muscles that are kind of tight. Can you allow yourself to begin to release any tension in your neck just from the sensation of it, just from feeling the sensation And then bring attention to your left shoulder. Take an inhale. So we'll match breathing with body sensing. So inhaling left shoulder and then exhale all the way down your left arm. So that all of your attention is now in the palm of your left hand as you breathe in and out. Sensing the palm of your left hand. You may feel like a radiance and aliveness. You may notice the body shifting into states of sleep. Feeling this background feeling of awareness. It's aware of the sensation in the palm of your left hand. Breath coming and going. Can you allow your whole left arm and hand to feel heavy and relaxed? Bring attention gently to the right shoulder. Take an inhale. And then exhale, sense all the way down your right arm to the palm of your right hand. So as you breathe in and out, all of your attention is absorbed in the palm of your right hand. You may feel like a, a radiance. You may not feel anything. You might want to squeeze and release your fist. And feel the sensation. Can you allow your whole right arm and hand to feel heavy and relaxed? Okay, we'll do both at the same time now. Bring attention to both shoulders. Take an inhale. And then exhale down both arms to the palms of both hands simultaneously, breathing in and out, sensing only the palms of both hands, nothing else. As you sense the palms of both hands, can you also feel this aware presence And allow your whole body and being to rest back into this awareness that's aware of breath coming and going, sensation in the body. And as you rest back into that, feeling the whole backside of your body as it meets the surface that holds you or supports you, feeling the contact there. Or perhaps sensing this quality of awareness, not just as space, but as like a holding presence. It's just a felt sense inquiry. Bringing attention to the breath again as it flows in and out naturally. 
You feel your belly rising and falling with it, each inhale and exhale. Allow your attention to wander through your torso, your chest and back, your belly. As you breathe in and out. Feeling your whole torso, maybe any spaciousness within and around your organs, your chest, back, and belly. So even though giving guidance we're also letting go of an agenda so can you just let go of any unnecessary trying just allow the guidance to support your inquiry body lifting in and out of states of sleep or perhaps all of your attention is right on the words so just wherever you are in this moment kind of allowing yourself to be just as you are letting go even more and bringing attention to your left hip you inhale as you sense your left hip and then exhale all the way down your left leg to the sole of your left foot As you breathe in and out, can you let all of your attention be absorbed in the sole of your left foot? Can you allow your left leg and foot to feel heavy and relaxed? spacious bringing attention to your right hip take an inhalation and then exhale all the way down your right leg to the sole of your right foot Breathing in and out, sensing the sole of your right foot. So if the mind goes into thinking, no problem. Just allowing that to happen and then gently redirecting attention back to the sole of your right foot and your breath in and out. Sensing your whole right leg, right foot, heavy and relaxed. As we continue to let go of any unnecessary tension, can you feel both legs, both feet at the same time, heavy and relaxed? You may feel kind of energy running through the legs or like a radiance of sensation. You may just have a visual image. Whatever is here is perfectly fine. Legs and feet. Now let's welcome the whole body into awareness. Legs and feet, arms and hands, torso, head, neck, face. Placing attention like a 360 view in the whole body inside out, outside in, allowing your attention to be on the global body sensation. Breath coming and going naturally.
even here, can you rest back and feel the whole backside of your body and resting back into this quality of spacious openness or awareness, this it's noticing and aware of a body sensation. But can you feel simultaneously how there's no distance? There's no separation between this awareness, this quality of awareness and the sensations that are being noticed and felt and experienced. You may inquire with that where it first feels like there's a distance between the two. But if you feel them both simultaneously, the awareness and then the sensations in the body, just explore, is it possible to feel there's not separation here? No real separate objects. Staying with your own felt sense, your own personal inquiry with that. Breathing in, breathing out. Feel the whole backside of your body. As the surface supports and holds you, begin to ride the wave of the breath. So it's going to come in, and there's going to be a space, and then the breath, the exhale happens. So there's a space at the end of the exhale. No forcing, simply ride the wave of the breath in and out as you sense the whole backside of your body. Stay in contact with the breath coming and going as you sense the whole front side of your body. Same, stay in contact with the breath as you sense the whole left side of your body. Riding the wave of the breath in and out. Going at your own pace. Now the whole right side of your body. Feeling the breath as it comes and goes and the spaces between the inhale and the exhale. On all sides simultaneously. Just notice what's present in the body and mind. What's here? Just being with this kind of gentle inquiry of what's present now. Breathing in and out, sensing the whole body globally. Let's feel this increasing indistinction between awareness and all that's arising in your experience. And this is all a felt sense inquiry. So just dropping down from the thinking mind into the heart, into the body. 
breathing, being here. What's it like to rest now? There's a sense of kind of there's nothing to know or do or get or see or understand. You can just be in this moment, breathing in and out just as I am, just as things are. There may be like a quality of kindness, joy or love that is here as you do this inquiry practice. Just allowing things as they are, and the beauty of that. Not leaving anything out. As we continue the practice, notice, is there an emotion that's here, or a mood tone, or kind of a thought that might be present that's just Asking to be seen. So just check and see if anything arises from a psyche into your experience that would like to be met and welcomed. What would happen if you just allow whatever's here to arise, be seen, be acknowledged and met just as it is? So connecting with that wholeness from the beginning, the ease, the well-being, as you meet and encounter any images, memories, thoughts, emotions, moods that are present or have been present today or recently. You may just kind of see one image after another or these feelings as felt sense in your body. Whatever is here, it's just the the stances where just leaning in and feeling and being with whatever it is that's arising. This quality of kindness and compassion. What if it's okay just as it is, even even if it's unwanted? Even here, feeling that lack of separation or distinction between what's here and who we are and whether we want it or not. Can you just be so welcoming and inviting toward your own experience that you see even your refusal of something or even what seems unable to be welcomed, even that, that too can be here just as it is. Deep compassion, radical welcoming. Staying in connection with the breath. Coming and going. And if there is one thing that seems to be most present and you turn towards it and just allow it, see what happens. Maybe there's a, a moment of encounter that you're dialoguing with or leaning into or just being near this thing that you haven't quite wanted to be near. 
or known that was here to be seen. So the, the intimacy of meditation is intimacy with the 10,000 things and leaning into our experience. And if it feels right, if you'd like, you can explore this kind of spacious awareness that's in a sense kind of holding it all or the space within which it's all coming and going. But explore that as a felt sense in your body. So maybe even making contact with uh, the center and then alternately with the periphery of you, maybe inhaling to the center, exhaling to the periphery of your body, inhaling to the center, exhaling periphery and exhale even further into the space around the body as you do this. So if it feels right, continue this exploration, breathing in to the center of you, exhaling all the way out into space. And as you continue to do that practice, breathing in and breathing out, notice what you experience. Can you really find a center here? Can you really find a periphery as you're breathing in and out? As we do with the opposites practice, what if you hold both simultaneously, sensing center and periphery? Notice if that opens up. So maybe an exploration of emptiness, empty fullness of love, whatever words might come to you. that doesn't dismiss any of the aspects of the contents of our consciousness. Can you rest here in this space, just breath coming and going, attending to your experience with kindness. You might find like an inner smile, you might bring an actual smile to your face. Allowing the body to receive this deep rest as you connect with the spaciousness that you are. No need for a formulation, simply just being, just being here, just being. Touching back in with your intention originally of 
what brought you here to this moment, to this practice, and just checking in, how is that now? Affirming it inwardly, any new insights? Before we close the practice, take a moment and, and ask, is there anything that wants to be acknowledged or seen in this moment? It can be anything, so we're just non-judgmentally opening the wisdom of the psyche. And perhaps taking that message with you and imagining yourself going into the rest of your evening, perhaps just straight into sleep or whatever you're doing before sleep and then going to bed and imagine yourself just sleeping soundly with a peacefulness waking up still with this presence this quality of connection with whatever you have made contact with during the practice here And maybe just also giving a little bit of, of gratitude to yourself for being here for the meditation, for the exploration and community. And allow yourself to slowly um, either you're welcome to stay and just float right into sleep um, or if it feels right begin to come out of the practice by gently moving fingers and toes and be allowing yourself a gentle stretch Moving slowly, so not needing to move quickly. Bringing your knees in towards your chest and rolling off to one side. And just at your own pace. Allowing yourself to, if it feels right, come back to seated and you could turn your, your video on and take, take all the time you need. We'll have a few moments for uh, some reflection 